Good morning, Year One, and welcome to this week's maths lessons. This week, we're going to be returning to shapes, and we're going to be looking at 2D shapes and 3D shapes. But before we get started, we've got an arithmetic challenge for you to do. So, whiteboards, whiteboard pens, pens and paper, however you want to do this, and here it is. Okay, so very quickly, I'm going to remind you what we're doing. First thing is, the bar represents tens, and the dots represent ones. So the first thing you need to do is work out the value of this, and then we're going to use the 100 square to work out 10 more and 10 less. So this first one is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we would write 17 beside it. And then we'd find 17 in the number square. And 10 more would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's directly below. And 10 less would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So counting back 10, and that would give us 7. So you can probably see the pattern now that's involved with this. OK, so 10 less would be 7, 10 more would be 27. So if you want to pause the video now, and when you're ready, we'll go through the answers. OK, welcome back. So this next one is 23. So 10 more is 33. 10 less is 13. Next one is also 23, but it looks slightly different. So again, that's got to be 13, and that's got to be 33. Next one is 30. So 10 more is 40, 10 less is 20. Next one, 24. 10 more, 34, 10 less, 14. This one is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Like the first one, so 7 less, and 7 more is 27. So 10 less. Next one's got a bit mangled. 1, 2, 3. So that's 10, 20, 30, 31, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. That's either 37 or 38, depending on how you saw it. I can assume it's 38. So that's 10 more is 48. 10 less is 28. Next one, bigger number again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 1, 2, 42. 10 more is 52. 10 less is 32. And then the last couple, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 29. More is 39, less is 19. And this last one, the biggest number we've ever done, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 10 more is 60, 10 less is 40. Okay, well done. Right, now... Moving on to our main thing now, to start with, and there is a link on Teams for this, if you want to watch this video, we watched it at the start of last term, and it will help remind you of the four main shapes that we learn in reception. And once you've watched that, start the video again, and have a look at what we're going to do next. Okay, so this time, we are looking at the properties of shapes. So we've got a shape's name, which we're going to come back to. And we've got how many sides does it have? Well, the sides are these. They're like edges on a 3D shape. So how many sides are there? Brilliant. There are four. Now, tell your grown-up, are these straight or curved? Brilliant. They're straight. Are all the sides the same size? Well, without getting a ruler out, they look pretty much so. Yes, let's say yes. Now, vertices is just a posh name for corners. So, how many vertices? One, two, three, four. And are the vertices the same size? So, that's saying, are they the same shape? Okay, so that's, they are all the same size, yes. Okay, so this shape is, I bet you know this, it's a square. And we now know that a square has four sides. All its edges are straight. 
all its sides are the same size, it has four corners, and the corners are also the same size. Okay, so we're going to go through, I'm going to give you a minute or so, or well, we're going to give you as long as you need to have a look at each of these shapes, and then I'm going to go through the answers. So here's the next shape. When you're ready, grown up, start the video again. So this shape has got four sides. It's got straight edges, straight sides. Are the sides the same size? No. How many vertices has it got? It's got four, and are the corners the same size? Yes. So that is a rectangle, which is also sometimes known as an oblong. Okay, next shape. When you're ready. How many sides? Three. Straight or curved? They're still straight. A lot of straights here. Sides the same size? I'm pretty certain they're not, especially that diagonal. How many vertices? Three. And are the vertices the same size? Well, that edge there, that looks massively bigger than that so no so what shapes that that is a triangle and in fact you'll find out later it's actually called a right angle triangle for this shape here but we don't need to worry about that now okay next shape and when you're ready how many sides tricky this one is actually something that can form really challenges mathematicians it's either one side or it's an infinite number of sides because each side is a little dot. We're going to go with one, though. Straight or curved edged sides. Well, this time it's got curved. Are the sides the same shape? Well, there's only one. So really, I would say not applicable, which is what NA stands for. How many vertices? None. And again, not applicable. Because there are no corners to this shape. And this shape is a circle. Now, here's the first of your new shapes. You may not know what this is called, but have a go and work your way through the properties. When you're ready, start the video again. How many sides? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. Are they straight or curved? Well, they're straight. Most shapes that we use are got straight edges, you're noticing. Are they the same size? I would say yes. How many vertices? It's got five sides. It's going to have five corners as well. And are they the same size? And again, yes. And this is called a pentagon. Gone means shape, pretty much. Now, here's another one. So, how many sides has this got? Again, when you're ready, just get going. It's got five sides. They're all straight. Now, are they the same size? No, definitely not. This is longer than these. So this is probably the longest side. These may be similar sizes. OK, how many vertices? Well, it's still got, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five. And are they the same size? Well, definitely not, because this one here looks a bit like a big Pac-Man mouth, doesn't it? So no, that one's much bigger than all the others. Okay, next shape. Oh, sorry. This shape's name is also a pentagon. It's actually called an irregular pentagon, because that means it's not got the same size shapes. But we'll worry about that later. Okay, this side, this shape. When you're ready, it's got six sides. It's got straight sides. Are they the same size? Yes, because this is also regular. Vertices, as many as there are sides, six. And yes, they are the same size. So this is called, I bet you know this one, hex. Again, hex means six. And this last shape. Well, it's also got six sides, so that also makes it a hexagon. This time it's an irregular hexagon. Straight or curved size? Straight. 
Are the sides the same size? No. We can see this side, for example, is quite a bit shorter than that side. How many vertices? Have a guess. It's got six sides, it's got six corners. And are they the same size? Again, we've got this big Pac-Man mouth here, and we've got a tiny one there. So no. And this is an irregular hexagon. Anything with six sides is a hexagon. Anything that's not like this one is irregular. Okay, so brilliant work, but that was just our starter. Now I'm going to show you the challenge today. It's actually pretty straightforward because you've used so much brain power just identifying those. So there are three levels for this task. You can choose which one you want to do. This is the main one. And what I want you to do is identify all the different shapes by colouring them. Now you could, if you haven't, aren't able to print this, you could point out each one and you then could draw a shape somewhere else on a piece of paper for all the different say what those shapes are and match them to the right colors but if you can print it out and have a go now if you think that's too easy or if you still have got some more stamina or you think it's a bit hard here are the two other choices this is the simpler one which concentrates on the shapes that we taught that we learnt in reception and we learnt the first half of term and this is the more challenging one. OK. So. When you're ready. Have a go. I'm just going to put up the previous one again. If you'd rather do that one. And I'll leave that up for five seconds. And I'll leave this up for five seconds. And that then is the end of what we can do. But on video. But in class. We're going to be holding up a 2D shape and getting children to identify its shapes. So maybe grown-ups, you could have a go at doing that as well. You need to identify the shape by discussing its sides and its vertices, like we did at the beginning. Okay, so this is the first choice. And these are the alternatives. And that is the end of today's lesson.